Hello, YouTubers. I, I hope you people can see me right here. Uh, today, my video is about the MOSFETs, the field effect and transistors. Uh, in one of my electric bike, as I have discussed earlier, I have made a controller all by myself following a circuit diagram that I found on the internet. And, uh, it's, it was pretty successful after modifying it uh, time after time. I have managed to make it in such that it could work on my electric bike. It was not meant for that much to handle that much power, but right now it's handling a lot. I'm in 60 volts and at about 12 amps maximum. It can it can handle up to 30 amps with a burst, and uh, it can handle a pretty pretty good. It can handle pretty good. I have these three uh, MOSFET transistors, as you can see. They are all parallel in the circuit, and uh, they are working pretty well. But yesterday, I encountered a problem. Uh, my MOSFETs were getting pretty hot, along with the diodes, uh, the protective diode that I used. Uh, all of them were getting really hot. Uh, the diode is laying here somewhere. I just didn't see where it is. Anyway, whatever. My This video is about uh, how to test the MOSFETs. I want to share with every one of you. Most of the time we encounter this problem that we want to see if this MOSFET field effect transistors FET is working or not. I have seen a video on, on the internet uh, but that was uh, quite inadequate and I thought maybe if I make one of my own that would explain a lot better. As you can see, the components that I have with me on this table is one 12 volt lead acid, sealed lead acid battery. Uh, the MOSFETs that I'm going to test, they're also here. Uh, a computer fan, computer supply fan, as you can see, with some of the wires that I could use. So. Uh, as the rule goes, uh, on any MOSFET we have three legs. One is gate, the drain, and the source. All right. So here I have connected uh, in this video uh, the MOSFET that I'm using. Here's the gate. Here's the drain. The drain is also uh, continuous with the back of this. MOSFET. So I have connected this mo these MOSFETs uh, to, uh, uh, to a heat sink. So my heat sink is the drain, right? And this is the source pin. I hope you can see in the video, this is the source pin, right? So I have connected the, the positive of the battery with the drain of all these MOSFETs, right? As I said earlier, my heat sink is the drain of all these transistors, right? So this is the positive. I have also connected the, 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 the negative of the fan directly. It's working. Okay. Uh, I've connected the negative of this, um, the, uh, my fan, with the, uh, with directly with the battery, and I have this positive of the fan, positive of, of the fan with me, I will connect this positive to the source of every MOSFET. Suppose the one which is facing with me. Okay, I'll, I'll just connect it with the, with the one which is facing your side. I hope you'll be able to see. There it is. The fan is not running. Now, simply using my hands, I will demonstrate that this uh, MOSFET that I'm using is IRFP. 150N, it's N-channel MOSFET, how to turn it on without having any, I can also use this battery, this 9 volt battery, I can use this to uh, turn it on, but I just use simply my hand, the charge of my hand, right? So when I touch the positive pole of the, of the, of the, the battery, and I touch this MOSFET, you see, the fan is turned on. But when I touch the negative pole of this battery, and I touch the, the what? The gate. When I touch the gate, the gate is so sensitive, it will turn off the fan. See? The fan is being turned off. 
Once again, when I touch the positive of the battery, and touch the gate of this single MOSFET again. See, the fan is on. Once again, when I touch the negative, and I touch the gate, the fan is off. Means, this MOSFET, uh, I said earlier, I guess, that all these MOSFETs were uh, parallelly connected. But right now, I have disengaged them all or, uh, alone, so I'm, I have to test each and every MOSFET for its uh, failure. What I came across, uh, it's going to be a bit lengthy, my video is going to be a bit lengthy with, if I uh, keep on checking each and every one in this video. Uh, I have checked all of these MOSFETs. This was just to, sh uh, to show you all, all of you guys how to check the MOSFETs. And let me tell you one more thing. All the MOSFETs do not have that much sensitive gate Particularly IRFP 150N channel MOSFET is so sensitive that all you do is just touch and your body is enough to produce that much amount of the signal to turn it either on or off. This is named from Peshawar, Pakistan and uh, on the endless sphere uh, there is a, a community about the electric bikes. Um, I'm pretty well known there. I call them my family. I really feel alone without them. They have given me so much love. I am so much thankful to them. This website, endlessspear.com slash forums, is about electric bikes. It's discussions and my project of a low-cost electric bike is there along with many others which are in the pipeline. This one, this controller is about my low-cost electric bike. And uh, there's a there's a guy that I respect from the bottom of my heart, Amber Wolf. His name is Amber Wolf. Uh, if any one of you guys from Endless Sphere is watching this video, you can see I've got a beard just like my teacher, Endless, uh, the, the, the Amber Wolf. And I almost look like him, except for the hat. I do not have that hat and the spectacles. I do not wear them. So, just a joke. Thank you very much for watching my video. This is Naim from Peshawar, Pakistan. I believe in sharing the knowledge, so I've tried my, my part of the portion. Thank you very much for watching this video.